Hi there, this is Uncle Andy from Let's Art Soul Korea. And uh, because of so many people asked me how to paint you know, watercolor paintings in Korean traditional technique. And um, yeah, we do have Korean traditional painting techniques that thousands and thousands of years that has been followed from the ancient period. And uh, the Korean traditional you know, watercolor painting technique is pretty similar to the Chinese and the Japanese. And uh, the core importance of this you know, technique is that you observe and observe and observe for a long time and think about how it works. And then once you're done, you just use the very decisive, you know, quick lines and then, and then shaping it and then coloring it without much of the uh, hesitation. And I think that's a very key point. And I think that is very connected with some of the uh, great masters in the Western art, uh, particularly Claude Monet's, you know, water lilies. And one, one time I have seen some interesting and amazing art, amazing water lilies of uh, Claude Monet's. I have very much stunned and amazed with the, the connection between his painting and the, some of the uh, Korean uh, watercolor painting in traditional way. So today, they asked me how to do it, and, and I decided, yeah, why not? I'm going to show you something very easily, okay? All you need is just the rice paper and the sharp pointed you know, brush and the black ink and watercolor paint. And that's all you need, and it's very quick and very um, creative in a certain sense. So you can find the way to how to do it without much of a problem, okay? So let's, let's dig into it. Okay, let's start with the materials. You need an oriental black ink called the mug and a fine sharp pointed brush. But if you don't have it, you can still use a regular black ink and a sharp pointed brush. And uh, you also need a rice paper which you're already familiar with. There are many different techniques in Korean traditional painting, but today I'm going to show you uh, one of its uh, techniques. Let's get into it. Before you paint, it is important to observe the scene you want to paint and see where the light reflection and the light areas are, and then where the dark tones are in the area. Once you feel comfortable, you start to paint freely with the water and the paint. Here I am using various blue colors. You can barely see the intensity of the color, but you still feel the transparency in it. It is very important for the watercolor painting in general. Just like Monet would do, feel free and use your emotional instinct to paint without much hesitation. You have to believe in yourself. Done is done. As you can see, I'm using a lot of water trying to visualize a um, special effect of uh, transparency on the water. And the rice paper absorbs the water quite nicely. And now I'm using some blues and some darker blues, turquoise, and a little bit of a blue right now, here and there. But I still leave the more areas that has like a you know light reflections and uh, the areas that water lilies are, and I'm just leaving it as just white right now. freely, you know, marks on the colors and the areas that I feel that there is a need of colors. Like Monet would do, something like he was, you know, painting in certain areas without much of any hesitation. He just, uh, you know, rely on his instinct and his feelings and emotions. And where should be the dark areas and where should be the light areas? And what color would that be? Well, it is just 
totally up to you. That how you feel, how you feel about it. Okay. So now I'm getting little darker areas, and I added a little darker you know, colors or the spots that that needs a contrast. So this is kind of like, you know quite easy because it's, you know certain areas are so getting darker, and now it is getting clear that where should the you know what lilies should be and what. Where are the areas that light reflections are, you know, reflecting it? So you can actually now be clear on, you know, the marks. Okay, now it's time to make a little water lilies in the basic, you know, coloring it with the greens and actually the various greens, like a little brownish greens and the yellows and and so on. And now I'm making some marks on, you know, willows in the basic colors. Just like yeah, it's just like very quick move. And now, I, once it's, it's, you know, getting dried a little bit, now I'm using black ink, well, especially in the oriental black ink, to make the leaves of um, these willows, willow trees. And, um, yeah, it has to be quite quick. You know, you have to make the decisive and, you know, decisions, you know, where it should go, how long, and what kind of the directions to go. It doesn't really matter how it looks exactly like. It's the matter of how you feel and um, you just make the mark, just like you know, almost like a, you know, dancing like. As you can see, just, you know, I'm making very quick moves. So it's certain, you know, it is very natural to have this water lilies are kind of like a moving, and those lines are very quite dynamic right now. Okay, and uh, I think this is almost done, just like this, which is quite easy. Okay, so I hope you like it. Okay, that's it for tonight, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or any requests for the future video that you wanted to watch, please just feel free to write down below. And if you liked it and want continue to watch it, please subscribe and push the like button, please. Until then, please take care. Bye-bye.